Welcome back to our channel. Today we're exploring Taylor Swift's famous feuds, from her hit songs to showdowns with Kanye West, Katy Perry, and more. I'm curious because I feel like almost every album you have a song where you address the haters. At least one song, sometimes I probably more than do one have song. that habit. I imagine that I might have that habit, yeah. Why is that? Why sing to the haters? Well, when they stop coming for me, I will stop singing to them. In 2008, Joe Jonas broke up with Taylor in a short phone call that lasted only 27 seconds. He soon started dating actress Camilla Bell, and there were hints of more drama on his website. If any more, unfortunately. I know. That's not, uh, I'm sorry to that hear guy, that. That's ouch. It's all right. I'm cool. You know what? It's like it's like when I find that person that that is is right for me. I'm not even going to be able to remember the boy who broke up with me over the phone in 25 seconds. In 2015, Joe began dating Taylor's friend, Gigi Hadid, which made things pretty awkward. Taylor even attended Joe's surprise party, and they went on double dates with Gigi and Taylor's boyfriend, Calvin Harris. 2008, Camilla Bell. Imagine this. Taylor Swift's heartbreak when Joe Jonas dumped her over the phone and quickly started dating actress Camilla Bell. Taylor suspected Camilla played a role and didn't keep quiet about it. In 2010, she released the sassy song Better Than Revenge, taking jabs at Camilla. Some of the songs on here, uh, all of the songs on here, are about boys and love. Yes. Um, anyone in particular? There are a couple people that uh, they're about, actually. Like maybe... Um, Somebody like, you know, that guy? There's one that's about that guy. But... Uh -huh. The drama didn't stop after Camilla and Joe split in 2009. In 2015, when Katy Perry got involved in Taylor's feud with Nicki Minaj, Camilla added a snarky comment. On and on about, like, you have to forgive and forget to move past something. No, you don't. You don't have to forgive and you don't have to forget to move on. You can move on without any of those things happening. 2009, Kanye West. Taylor Swift and Kanye West have had a rocky relationship. It started with the 2009 VMA incident when Kanye interrupted Taylor's speech, causing sympathy for Taylor and criticism for Kanye. Taylor, I'm really happy for you. I'm let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Although he apologised, things remained complicated. Taylor even wrote a song called Innocent about it. Then Kanye withdrew his apology and Taylor used the drama to her advantage. Surprisingly, they became friends in 2015, even discussing collaboration. Things seemed fine until trouble resurfaced in 2016 with Kanye's song Famous, which had a controversial lyric about Taylor. Kanye said she approved it, but she denied it. The feud escalated with the famous music video featuring a naked wax figure of Taylor. If something's toxic and it's only ever really been that, what are you going to do? Just it's move like, on. Just move on. It's fine. 2010, Jake Gyllenhaal. Taylor and Jake met at a fancy party in 2010, thanks to Emma Stone. They fell in love fast with fun trips and private jet rides. But in January 2011, Jake broke up with Taylor, inspiring her to write, we are never, ever getting back together. I'm being told I need to ask you if you're still with Taylor Swift. That's a, not a question of an answer. OK. Everything seems calm now, but there's still a bit of awkwardness. 2012, Harry Styles. Now, people are saying, some people are saying, word on the street is, that this album is all about uh, a breakup from someone. OK. <laughs> Taylor Swift and Harry Styles' love story started at the Kids' Choice Awards in March 2012. It got serious when Harry hinted at it in a November interview, but like a shooting star, their love faded fast. Never have I ever had someone write a song about me. <laughs> We're not going to play if you're going to lie. At the 2013 VMAs, Taylor hinted at their breakup when she won an award, while Harry and One Direction presented one. So here we go, the one about Taylor Swift. Uh, um, oh, no! In 2015, Taylor seemed to ignore Harry in an LA video, and in October, Harry's song Perfect hinted at their relationship. Despite the ups and downs, Harry Styles opened up about their time together in a 2017 Rolling Stone interview, shedding light on their short-lived romance. 2013, Lady Gaga. In late 2013, Gaga had doubts about Taylor when Taylor complimented her music at an event. 
Gaga wondered if she was sincere, but later Taylor's stylist, Brandon Maxwell, who was working with her, revealed that Taylor was dancing to art pop during a photo shoot. Gaga changed her mind and liked Taylor for being genuine. Her and I were sitting next to each other and she goes, Oh my God, I love art pop and I love applause. And I was thinking, this chick is full of shit, right? right. But then my buddy called me and he goes, Taylor Swift is in here blasting art pop so loud. And I said to myself, I like this girl. You know why? Because she said phone. the same thing to my face that she said right. behind my back. In 2015, when Taylor was single and looking for love, Gaga responded to one of her tweets saying, You're a sweetheart. Life is about friends, family and love. We all see that in you and your Prince Charming will come. Shortly after that, Taylor and Calvin Harris got together and Taylor even playfully credited Gaga's tweet as a magic spell. 2013. Lord. In 2013, Lorda made some comments about Taylor, saying her perfection could harm young girls. Taylor didn't mind, and even sent Lorda roses when her song Royals hit big. They became friends. All the magazines tell us. I, you know, you make friends in different places, but I think for the most part, like, I, you know, I'm not, like, calling up my idols for advice necessarily. August 2015. Miley Cyrus. You might remember her from the Hannah Montana days, and Taylor even sang a song on the movie's soundtrack. But in August 2015, things got a bit frosty. Miley told the New York Times that she wasn't interested in joining Taylor's famous friend group. She basically said she prefers hanging out with regular down-to-earth folks. July 2015, Nicki Minaj. Nicki Minaj, the singer and rapper who had a disagreement with Taylor in July 2015. Nicki was upset because her music video wasn't nominated for an MTV Video Music Award, so she tweeted about it. Taylor thought Nicki was targeting her since her video was nominated, and this led to a Twitter argument. However, they later cleared things up and realised that Nicki was addressing industry problems, not Taylor personally. They even performed together at the VMAs, singing Nicki's The Night Is Still Young and Taylor's Bad Blood. I spoke to Taylor Swift yesterday on the phone. She's super, super sweet and she apologised, so we're all good. 2016, Kim Kardashian. She's a reality TV star, Kanye West's ex-wife, and she used to be friends with Taylor with their first hangout at the EMAs in 2012. The drama started in February 2016 when Kanye released the song Famous with some controversial lyrics about Taylor. Kim had recorded the phone call with Taylor and instead of keeping it private, Kim dropped the bombshell on her Snapchat, calling out Taylor and sparking the infamous hashtag Kim Exposed Taylor Party trend. Since then, they're not friends and the drama seems to be ongoing. 2016, Kendall Jenner. Kendall Jenner and Taylor Swift used to be friends, even hanging out at Taylor's place and joining her on tour. But things changed when Kendall rekindled her romance with Harry Styles, Taylor's ex. After Kim Kardashian exposed Taylor on Snapchat, Kendall showed she's Team Kim by retweeting her and posting a shady Instagram pic. 2017, Katy Perry. Katy Perry and Taylor Swift had a dramatic history. They were friends, but things got weird when they both dated John Mayer. The trouble started when three of Taylor's tour dancers left to join Katy's tour. Taylor felt betrayed and their friendship soured. They had a Twitter fight. Later, Taylor released Bad Blood, widely believed to be about Katy. In 2017, Katy mentioned the feud in an interview and tweeted about kindness. It simmered down until 2018, when Taylor posted a photo of an olive branch from Katie, signalling a truce. They publicly supported each other in 2019 and made their friendship official on Instagram with cookies. What the feud was about, I know there was a feud and then it was, it was actually over. just a misunderstanding, but um, you know, we have such big uh, groups of people that like to follow us, and so they kind of started turning against each other a little bit too, and it was really unfortunate, but... Um, we made amends and I'm all about redemption and forgiveness and for setting an example for um, those younger people that it can be cool to, uh, you know, ask for forgiveness. Now that you've uncovered the full history of Taylor's feuds, you won't want to miss what she has to say about her own insecurities. Watch Taylor Opens Up about heartbreaking messages on her insecurities. And if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exclusive celebrity insights.